Welcome to what I eat slash drink in a day. Starting off with coffee. Every day is a little different and this is more of an intensity day than a long day, but hope you enjoy what I'm eating, snacking, drinking on all day. Breakfast time, kids are fed, Rilla's got her oatmeal, watching Bluey, Caden's napping after his breakfast. Um, this breakfast is a little bit different than what I usually have, so like I said, every day is a little bit different. Um, Costco is out of eggs, so no eggs, so we're doing oatmeal uh, with some peanut butter, berries, banana, just, yeah, no real measuring either, so. Who knows what the exact calorie count is today. Um, I kind of eyeball everything and don't pay too close to attention to the exact calories I eat. Just, I kind of know the amount that I need um, and kind of adjust from there. So I'm sure some people could probably look and guesstimate how much there is, but basically, bowl of oatmeal. Coffee number two, espresso, before the first workout of the day. First one is to wake up, second one's for before the workout. Alright, recovery drink for after, sports drink for during the swim. It's the next calories of the day. Actually, a little warm. Sweet air is a little cold. Water's warm. What you Make it a little bit toasty. So yeah, today uh, intense swim, but also kind of long. So it's just over 5k, and got some like 200s, like fast, but it's probably more thresholdy. And then 500 or five 100s with some of them all out. So I'm um, going through that twice. So yeah, kind of a long main set kind of set a good benchmark. So, see how it goes. <gasps> oh, there's Dad! Hi. Hi! Hi, we brought the whole family to the pool, just a change of scenery and Get the kids out, walk around, show them the big, nice, pretty blue pool. Just the small things. But she actually had some lessons here, so Bree, do you remember? Your swim lessons over there. I know, they don't let the kids in the pool in the winter time, but we'll be back. Snack, a bite of a beef stick, protein. All right. Lunchtime in between swim and bike today. Just threw something together, trying to keep it a little bit more simple. Handful of pretzels, then it's like a chicken sandwich, some cheese, pickles, little sauce, avocado. It's on an English muffin. And I usually snack as I make food. So, and I take what I call the dad tack. So I'm cutting up Briella's uh, hot dog, which is all beef hot dog by certified Piedmontese. Might see a little steak later tonight by them. Um, you know I'm taking a few pieces there. So I always kind of snack as I go, but you know, trying to just have everybody see exactly what I'm eating to the, the best of my ability. But yeah, I like to snack throughout the day. So that's a little update. Third coffee of the day, second hard workout coming up. So last one, we'll see. Bike ride time. Uh, a couple of bottles of nutrition. Um, just the nutrition overall is probably somewhere between 80 and 100 grams per hour. This is actually, when I add everything up, I think it's almost 160, but I'm trying to bump it up for a workout like this to especially back it up after the swim. So um, usually I shoot for 100, give or take, or maybe even up to 120, because I always feel like no matter how much you're taking in in the bottles, there's still something that gets left a little bit. So I shoot for the high side and can always adjust. And I'm able to monitor my blood glucose during a workout too with the Super Sapiens. So this is the next food. I guess it's uh, mainly bottles, but just getting in calories during the ride and we'll come back, recover and 
just a run, and then we can bake, we can cook dinner. Welcome to Cooking with Canute, not to be confused with Canute's Coffee Corner. We're checking out the steak. It's certified Piedmontese. We got a tomahawk here, which I have been saving. Today obviously has been a day with not very much protein overall because we've been doing back-to-back -back workouts. Just And honestly, sometimes I do eat protein beforehand, but with such high intensity, I try and keep it relatively simple. So this is gonna go on the grill. We're gonna do it, it's called a reverse sear. So I'm gonna do it a little low and slow um, and like smoking it almost um, instead of putting it in the oven or something. And then I'm gonna sear it at the very end to get that nice crisp crust. With quality meat like this, you don't need to season it with very much. A uh, little bit of, uh, I'd say Texas seasoning. It's just salt and pepper. That's how I do all my beef, pork and stuff. I have something called butt rub from Costco that I love to use, but this right here is the best and it's just nice coating over it all. Every side and just get it all ready. And I'm gonna let it sit for a while. I still have a run to do, but that's really it. Super simple, and we come take a look over here too, because on the side, Courtney's got the crock pot going with some leftover chicken that we had yesterday we didn't cook uh, on the grill a few days ago, so she threw it in here. It's kind of a Mexican style chicken, so that's what we'll eat a lot of in the coming week. So pretty much how my meals go usually is a good lean protein, which this is a really pretty lean beef. There's not a whole lot of fat to it with the type of cow that it is, or a chicken or something else or a good quality fish. And then I build out my veggies, which tonight I think we'll have some asparagus and then maybe make a salad. And then I add in the carbohydrate when I think I need it. And since I've been having carbs all day, probably go a little bit lighter on that for me, but we've always got some sort of potato cooking or something like that, especially with Courtney and Briella. So that's about it. Thanks for coming to Cooking with Canute. Like I said, I like to eat and cook at the same time. Chips and salsa, my go-to, love them. All right, not too shabby. There's the steak. Let's eat. And then here's the rest. We got potatoes, mushrooms and onions, asparagus. Good dinner to finish up the day. Ready, set, go! Ooh, you okay? Let's see. You okay? Your hands okay? Show me your hands. Let me see. It's okay. Oh, it's okay? Okay. Good job. Set, go. That's right. That's my girl. Let's get right back up. End of the day, after dinner, we're a dessert family. Gotta have a little bit of chocolate. We buy these at Costco too. We're not sponsored by Costco, but our house has a lot of Costco things in it. Um, but I'll have some chocolate, could have graham crackers, Courtney buys some really good gluten-free ones, um, or sometimes I'll have like a bowl of granola. Uh, anything, you know, just at the end of the day, if I feel like I'm still hungry, need to fill a void that I missed during the day, something like that, try not to go too heavy. And as you can see, I kind of snack in between meals when it works. And when not, I just try and eat a good, well-rounded meal. So I hope you enjoyed seeing everything that I ate. And you know, maybe we'll try this again another day and it could be completely different, but this was about right, about on for what I eat in a day.